Okay, let's check out this chair challenge first. Huh? Okay, why is it called a challenge? I told you many times for those of you who attended my session before. The challenge is simply just means to say that there's just some extra steps, some extra things to think about. It doesn't mean that it's very difficult. Okay. So the figure is made out of one centimeter cube stacked against a wall. What is the minimum number of cubes? Take note, what is the minimum number to make the figure into a cuboid? A cuboid meaning to say it is a proper solid with a length, breadth, and height, not like pieces, bits and pieces only. All right. How? What is it? What do we need to do? So Cody mentioned that we work out the cuboid's volume first, which is 5 times 2 times 3. Okay, so the smallest possible cuboid in this case, all right, is 5 times 2 times 3. Because if you look carefully at the length, can you see that there's 5 in the front, followed by a 2 at the side, also known as a breath, and the height, it is able to reach a maximum of 3. That's why 5 times 2 times 3 is the minimum volume of the cube. The number of cubes that's already present, now we can do the counting. All right, 8 plus 3 plus 1. So this time I'm using the level method. Level 1, 8. Level 2, 3. And the third level is only 1. Okay, so how many do I need to fill up? I just need to take 30 minus 12, which is 18. Most of you told me 12 is not because it's wrong. 12 is the number of cubes already present there. But the question is asking, how many more do you need to fill in, all right, to top it up to get a cuboid? You, well, when you say counting, I believe you counted the cubes one by one to fill it up, right? Can, but like I said, that is a tedious method, okay? And sometimes you can make an error, although it's okay. But that's why I showed you this method where you check the volume that is required, meaning to say the smallest possible cuboid, and then you subtract it from the number of cubes that's already given in the diagram. That will give you the minimum number of cubes required. Okay, that means the smallest possible. An empty rectangular tank measuring 30 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 8 is filled with water using a small little rectangle container as shown. How many of such containers of water are needed to fill it to take note? Half the height only. Half the height only. So how many? Hmm? So to find the half the capacity of the large tank, because that's what we want to fill up to, right? Okay. So we can find the volume, which means to say the capacity of only half. So 35 times 3 times 4. Why times 4? All right. It's because the height will only be 4 if it is half filled. Alternatively, you could times 8 first and then divide by 2, which is also possible. Okay, so what uh, Noah mentioned is after you find the capacity of half the capacity of the large tank, because that's a level that you want to fill the water to, next you find the volume of that small little tank. Because you're going to use the small little tank to pour water in. All right, so 5 times 3 times 5 is the volume of the small tank. So what is the last thing that you need to do to find out how many of those small containers you need? You just need to take 300 divided by 75. Okay, so that will give you four small containers, meaning to say you need to scoop four times. One, two, three, and four times. You will get the 300 cubic centimeters. Okay. Yep, so that's the answer for 